Welcome back to another AF Stadiums. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best Division Three football stadiums um, in the U.S. I kind of picked these out. I thought they looked pretty great. Starting things off with the University of Mary Hardin Baylor, we got Crusader Stadium. It's got a capacity of 7,671. It was built in 2013. It's one of the newer ones on this list. Honestly, to me, this stadium could be an FCS Division I or a really big Division II football stadium. Tons of chairback seats, huge press box. It's got a huge video board. Um, you got seating all the way around, so it definitely can hold more than just the 7,000 listed. Awesome stadium. Moving on to the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. We got Perkins Stadium. It's got a capacity of 13,500. Uh, was built in the 70s. This stadium, again, could definitely be an FCS Division I stadium. Um, at 13,000, I mean, that's kind of insane for Division Three, And clearly, they pack the place every game. Um, it's just an awesome stadium. And they are going to get some upgrades here soon, so I'm pretty curious as to what it will look like in the future. Moving on to RPI, we got East Campus Athletic Village. It's got a capacity of 5,200, was built in 2009. Um, what I like about this stadium, obviously, it's a great stadium. It's got some chairback seats, some bleacher seats, pretty large press box. But it's got a basketball stadium that is in the one end zone. So they kind of built a whole complex here. Love the red seats. It really pops. And then the exterior here is pretty awesome. Kind of reminds me of uh, Houston's football stadium. Moving on to Wabash College, we got Little Giant Stadium. Um, it's got a capacity of 3,550. Now this stadium just went through a humongous upgrade in 2021, but I believe there's been a stadium on this site since the late 1800s. Um, but overall, this new addition to the home side there is pretty awesome. Not a lot of away seating, but I do like how they kind of add seats all around the stadium. And then on game days, I mean, if this place is packed, it's got to be a pretty awesome little stadium. Moving on to Adrian College, we got Docking Stadium. Uh, it's got a capacity of 3,000, does have some berm seating, so could fit a little bit more than that. was built in 2006. I've actually uh, been in this stadium. It's honestly a pretty great little football stadium. Tons of chairback seats. The away side is kind of small, but like I said, you do have a grass berm that you can sit on. Some pretty nice turf, um, and you can never go wrong with the black and gold colors, especially when it's the seats. I think that looks really great. Moving on to sunny Cortland. We got sunny Cortland Stadium Complex. We got a capacity of 6,500, was built in 2002. Um, pretty big stadium. Honestly, I'm surprised it only holds 6,500. The home side's pretty big there. I like the fact that they kind of backed it up on the lacrosse and track stadium so you can use the same press box for both sides. I always think that's a pretty good idea, especially with smaller schools. Um, Moving on, we got Salisbury University Seagull Stadium. We got a capacity of 5,000. Um, the stadium was built in 1988, but it did go through some pretty recent upgrades. Um, you got a huge press box on the home side, large stands, and then on the away side, you even have a little press box and then a pretty nice video board. always like it when you have a press box on the away side for the visiting team. I just think for a smaller school, that's kind of a cool thing to have. Moving on to John Hopkins University, we got Homewood Field. I actually did a video on this stadium, but it was for the lacrosse, um, which plays in the Big Ten. But they do have Division Three football. Um, we got a capacity of 8,500. It was built in 1907. And again, for D3 football, I think this is... An absolutely great stadium. Obviously for lacrosse, um, being Division One, they sell out, and it's definitely an awesome crowd. But like I said, still a really great stadium for Division Three football. 
Moving on to John Carroll University, we got Don Shula Stadium, capacity of 5,416, was built in 2003. It's a pretty nice stadium. You got a great mix of chair back seats, bench seating, and then some bench seating with chair backs. Pretty large press box, um, nice turf. You do have a track around the field, but I mean, that's pretty pretty common with Division Three football. But still a pretty large stadium again for Division Three, And like I said, the press box there, really nice. Like how the seats are elevated up above. Moving on, we have Washington and Lee University. We got Wilson Field. It's got a capacity of 4,000. Um, it was There's been a stadium here since the 1900s, but this was redone in 2008. Overall, I think it's a great stadium. Again, you got chair back seats, bleacher seats. Again, a really nice press box, and I love all the brickwork. It just looks like an awesome little stadium. It does have a track around it, but again, that's pretty common when it comes to Division Three, and it's still nice. Moving on, we got Randolph-Macon College Day Field. It's got a capacity of 5,000, was built in 2012. Uh, my favorite thing about this stadium is it's kind of enclosed with some of the school buildings around it. Does have a small side of away seating. Would like to see that a little bit larger, but this is what I'm talking about with the school building there in the background. Just looks pretty awesome. Probably creates a pretty nice environment, and I believe this one's going to get some upgrades as too with a bigger home side press box. Moving on to Linfield University, we got Maxwell Field. It's got a capacity of four thousand. Was built in 1928. My favorite thing about this one is the home side seating that's covered. Um, it's kind of a common thing out here with the Pacific Northwest smaller schools. Um, they just get, did just get some new turf, with look, which looks great. Overall, not a bad stadium, and they also just got a pretty large video board as well, which for Division Three to have a large video board, I would say, is kind of rare. Moving on to Lewis and Clark College, we got Griswold Stadium. It's got a capacity of 3,700, was built in 1954. Again, kind of your Pacific Northwest, you got the covered home side. There really isn't any away side seating here, but I do like the fact that it's really tucked up in the trees in the woods. Um, it just gives it a pretty cool feeling. You do have some chair back seats, and I just love how the press box is way above the stands, kind of out in front. I've always liked that. looks awesome. Lastly, we got Franklin and Marshall College, Shattuck Stadium. It's got a capacity of 2,500, which is the smallest one we've looked at today, but it is the newest being built in 2017. Again, you got a great brick exterior. I love the blue seats, and then you got a grass berm pretty much all the way around. You can probably fit closer to four or 5,000 people. Large video board. Overall, a great little stadium. I love the glass and the brick with the press box. It looks really great. The away side seating could be a little bit bigger. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.